the types of melanin emission is there. It is the horizontal melanin emission itself, it is the column and D type horizontal melanin emission. So your mind what is the, the more of this one is the stranger, it is the copper. Here we all use the multiplying method. This one is the U, this portion is called column, working table, this is the saddle and knee and elevating screw, the bottom is the base. Here lever position is there. This lever position used for setting the RPM of the machine. This horizontal milling machine is mainly used for making the gear cutting. Here we have done the spur gear. This spur gear is number of teeth is there. First we want to calculate the number of teeth. As for the diameter, see, just they will give the one work piece. As for this diameter, we want to divide the number of teeth. Once we have calculated the number of teeth means using the index indexer, we want to set the indexing plate. Just observe here. Here in indexing plate itself they give the standard numbers 35, 23, 20, 17, 13. As per our calculation, we want to set the indexing plate numbers. See here. This one is called plunger. It is the crank, it is the plunger pin. Suppose we have calculated 35 means we want to set this plunger for in 35. Exactly in 35. Once we have set the 35 means this is called sector arm. This is the fixed one, this is the movable one. Just observe this one. It is the movable one, it is the fixed one. Now the number of holes is 28 means the 35 too we want to count it for number of holes. The 35 is the index plate number, the 28 is the indexing hole number. Once we have calculated means as for the holes, just type the sector on. Check. Inside bomb wheel is there. That bomb wheel is divided for 40 teeth. That's why we have taken the calculation itself. As for the calculation, we have taken the 40 by n. Once we have done the calculation, all means it is a work holding software. Just work piece we have fixed here. Fix the work piece from in index itself. Just observe how to set the index. Once we have set the work piece means as for the indexing center, we want to set the tool first. Next, we have set the work piece. When we have given the depth of work itself, just adjust the edge of the tool, want to touch the work piece. Now it is the zero point. Now here itself we want to give the depth of work. Here one rotation equal 1 mm, two rotation equal 2 mm. How much now we have given the, now it is set in 30. Just rotate for 30 to 30, it becomes 1 mm depth of cut. Now we give the 2 mm depth of cut. Now we are given the depth of cut. Just now on the machine. See, when we are given the speed itself, just move the work table uniformly slowly. Always the tool should be in left side, the work piece is right side. When we are given the feed itself, this is called the up milling. When the tool and work piece moves from opposite direction, it is called up milling. When we are given the feed itself, slowly we want to give the feed. Once we have completed the teeth means, see ya. now we want to move the plunger. From this position itself, we don't want to move the plunger. Just we want to take the tool from away from the workpiece. Always tool should be in left side, the workpiece is right side. Now move the plunger for once we have started from clockwise means we want to do from clockwise only. Otherwise, suppose we have started from anti clock means we want to do it for anti clockwise only. Just observe, just pull this plunger and rotate it. Don't do it plus or minus. Where the hole is, the exact hole is there, there we want to set it. See here, now it is set up. Now give the feed.
just observe how the teeth comes. What we have done the calculation as for the calculation the teeth number of teeth will come. It is called up milling. When the work piece passes from uh, for feeds from opposite direction, it is called up milling. Start. Now the teeth is finished. Again go reverse. Now move the sector on. See how to move the sector on. Move the sector on from flat face. Once we have moved the sector on flat face means again and again we don't want to uh, count the holes. It will be already counted for 28 holes. Just pull the plunger and move it for as for the plunger hole. Now give the feed. Just observe your number of things comes equally. Just observe them. the number of teeth is provided there. See the width of the teeth is same. Like this, the, we can do, do the gear cutting. Here we are doing the spur gear. Just observe this one. This outer diameter is called attendum diameter. This bottom diameter is called detendum diameter. This is the thickness of the teeth, and this is called pitch circle. Just observe this one. How we have made the spur gear. This is called spur gear. 